teaching your dog to back up, create space on command. Title, Teaching Your Dog to Back Up, Create Space on Command Introduction, 100 Words Teaching your dog vital commands is essential in ensuring their safety and enhancing their obedience. Among the numerous commands you can teach your furry friend, backup is one that can be particularly useful in various situations. By teaching your dog to back up on command, you can create space between them and potential hazards, maneuver tight spaces more easily, and establish boundaries. In this article, we will explore the step-by-step -step process of training your dog to back up on command. We will cover the importance of this command, the benefits it offers, and provide valuable tips to make the training experience enjoyable for both you and your dog. Section 1, The Importance of Teaching the Backup Command, 200 Words The backup command serves several purposes when it comes to dog training. Firstly, it establishes an effective way to create space between your dog and potential dangers. Whether it's teaching your pup to back away from a busy street or move away from a poisonous plant, this command can help prevent accidents and safeguard your dog's well-being. Secondly, teaching your dog to back up can be useful in navigating tight spaces. Whether you need more room to open a door, access a room, or simply want to maneuver around obstacles, the backup command can make your dog's movements more fluid and controlled. Additionally, the backup command allows you to set boundaries for your dog. By teaching them to move backward, you establish a clear understanding of personal space and reinforce your role as the pack leader. This command can be particularly helpful when training your dog to respect guests or new additions to the family. Section 2 Step by Step Training Guide 800 Words To successfully teach your dog to back up on command, follow these simple steps. Step 1 Choose the right training environment. Start the training in a quiet area with minimal distractions. A spacious room or an enclosed yard will work well. Clear the area of any potential hazards that could divert your dog's attention. Step 2. Familiarize your dog with the command. Make sure your dog is comfortable with basic obedience commands such as sit and stay. This will lay a solid foundation for the backup command. Step 3. Introduce the backup gesture. Stand in front of your dog with a treat in your hand and your palm facing them. Gently guide your dog backward by moving your hand toward their chest while saying, back up in a clear and firm tone. Give them the treat and praise when they take a step back. Repeat this several times to familiarize them with the gesture. Step 4. Create a boundary. Now, position yourself in front of your dog and stretch your arm out horizontally, using it as an invisible barrier. Give the backup command and slowly move toward your dog, encouraging them to move backward to create space between you. Reward them and praise their efforts when they move back. Repeat this step gradually increasing the distance your dog has to move backward. Step 5. 
add a verbal cue. As your dog becomes more comfortable with the backup gesture, introduce a verbal cue alongside the hand signal. Just before moving your hand, say back up and then proceed with the hand gesture. This helps associate the command with the desired action. Step 6. Practice in different settings. Once your dog grasps the backup command in a controlled environment, begin practicing in different settings. Gradually increase the distractions present during training sessions to ensure your dog can perform the command under various circumstances. Section 3, Essential Training Tips, 300 Words Here are some valuable tips to enhance your training experience. 1. Keep training sessions short and frequent. Dogs have a shorter attention span, so aim for regular, short training sessions to maintain their interest and focus. 2. Use positive reinforcement. Reward your dog with treats, praise, and petting during training sessions. Positive reinforcement will motivate them to perform the backup command willingly. 3. Be patient and consistent. Dogs learn at their own pace, so be patient and consistent throughout the training process. Reinforce the command consistently and avoid getting frustrated or resorting to punishment. 4. Gradually fade out the treats. As your dog becomes proficient with the backup command, gradually reduce the number of treats given during training. Eventually, your dog should respond to the command even without the presence of treats. 5. Master the basics first, ensure your dog has a solid foundation in basic obedience commands before introducing more complex commands like backup. This will establish better communication and understanding between you and your furry companion. Section 2, Step-by-Step -step Training Guide, 800 Words, Continued. Step 7, Increase the distance. Once your dog is comfortable with moving backward a few steps, gradually increase the distance they have to back up. Start by moving a few feet away and then gradually increase the distance to create more space. Remember to reward and praise your dog each time they successfully back up. Step 8. Introduce distractions. 